What's that, Lassie? Timmy's in trouble? Oh, no, Timmy's in the well again? Should we go get him? But who can we get to go down into the well? Oh. It's Bob the Builder. He's going to build a crane and lower himself down to the well. And we want to figure out how much work is done on Bob as he lowers himself down to the well. And so first, he starts out from rest and goes five meters, speeding up from zero to two meters per second. And the next five meters down, he goes a constant two meters per second. And then the last five meters, he slows down to zero so he can hook on to Timmy and save him. And so we have three different periods here to calculate the work for. The first five meters going from 15 down to 10, and then from 10 to 5, and then from 5 to 0. And so find the work done on the 19 kilogram rescuer Bob during each segment as he's lowered into the well. And so work is the change in potential energy plus the change in kinetic energy. At least that's the approach we're going to take here. And the change in potential, this is gravitational potential. And so it's MGH, that's the work done to lift something. And so it's the potential energy you get when you lift something. And change is always the final minus the initial. So MGH final minus MGH initial. And then the change in kinetic, 1 half MV final squared minus 1 half MV initial squared. And so for interval 1, uh, the mass is 90. I factored the uh, MG out. Uh, 90 kilograms and G is 9.8 newtons per kilogram and the final height was 10 meters and the initial was 15 meters so you can see we're going to get a negative here right and so um, uh, negative work when, when we're losing potential energy and then I factored out the one half M here so I have one half 90 kilograms times uh, 2 meters per second squared minus 0 meters per second squared and so that gives me negative 4,410 joules for the change in potential and positive 180 joules for the change in kinetic. Add them together, you get 4,230 joules. So once we've done this, we'll find the other intervals are a little uh, easier because we've already done some of the work. For example, since we're going down another 5 meters, the change in potential is going to be negative 4,410. So everything's the same. We have the ch same change in uh, height of negative 5 meters. Uh, the kinetic is different, though. There's no change in the kinetic. So if you just recognized that if he started at 2 and ended up at 2, the change was 0, that's okay, but I wrote it out. And so that comes out to negative 4, 4, 10 plus 0. And so it's a little bit um, not quite as negative as interval 1. And finally, interval 3. Same uh, change in gravitational potential uh, because the change in height is negative 5 again. And the change in kinetic here, you have to watch it. Uh, the final velocity is 0 and the initial was 2. So you end up with a negative change in kinetic energy or um, negative 4,590. And so again, notice after you do interval 1, you have the same gravitational potential only because it's the same change in height. That's not necessarily true. Um, and then the change in kinetic, you have to work out for each one, but not too bad. Uh, if you want to try uh, doing this on, on your own, that'd be a good idea. And then consult this video to check your work. But Bob finally did save Timmy.